What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Pokedubs and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Zacian and Samazenta legendary figure collections from Crown Zenith. Let's get right into this. All right, so here we've got the shiny Zacian premium figure collection. I only have one on here because obviously I can only fit one because these are kind of huge. In here you can see we've got the nice shiny Zacian pin the shiny Zacian promo that I had mentioned in the last video that this is not standard legal anymore, but it is a very, very pretty card um, if, if you like Zacian. I prefer Zacian over Zamazenta. Anyway, you get this really awesome shiny Zacian figure. Uh, I'm a really big sucker for the figures. I think the figures are really cool. I would go with a figure over like a giant card any day in these promo kits. Um, and then you get the sleeves. I, I won't go into detail about those because you guys know my opinion on, on the uh, Pokemon sleeves. We have 11 packs for each box, so we are going to jump right into these. I am going to, however, take a quick second to do a shameless plug. If you've been with the channel for a little while, and we've only been a thing for like a month, a little over a month, but uh, if you're liking the content and you happen to like the logo and stuff, I happen to get these stickers made that are pretty cool. Um, they're nice, high quality stickers. I have a link in the description that'll go to my link tree. That's got all my socials on it. And then it'll have a link to merch. Uh, that's where you're gonna find these stickers. So if you like those, go take a look, share with your friends. We're gonna jump right into this, but you guys know what we need to do because there's a lot of cardboard and plastic on this. So we're gonna go ahead and snap it right off. All right, awesome. So here we've got the sleeves, a cool Zacian design on them if it'll focus. But that's about it. They're still the same low quality sleeves that you've heard me complain about before. So do with these what you will. Mine are gonna go back there. Then we have the shiny Zacian promo card. That's really cool. This card was very, very strong. Uh, when it was in the standard format. I It didn't get as much time to shine as I wish it would have, um, but this card was very, very good, very powerful, uh, but it is no longer standard legal. Nonetheless, that is a very pretty card. We'll go ahead and just sleeve this one up. We'll keep it on the side. Then we'll jump into the pin, which is really, really cool. This is uh, shiny form Zacian. So if you're wondering why he doesn't look like he normally would, like in this package, there's the pin. And then what I'm excited about is this figure. This is really, really cool. It's not too big, but it's also not like super small. So that's, that's super neat. And then we've got 11 crown Zenith packs. So we're going to jump right into this. And this time, I actually do have a chase card from the set. It's going to be the uh, Galarian Gallery Raikou V. Uh, I want that for my Maridon deck. So we're going to head into these packs and start off the Zacian box. So let me know. I started off with kind of a controversial opinion of mine is that I preferred um, Zacian over Zamazenta. So if you guys played Sword and Shield, which one do you prefer out of those two legendaries? Here we go, starting to pull cards like a goofball into a Wailord rare. Nothing crazy there. I don't know, I just always thought Zacian was a lot cooler. I know that's strictly just an opinion, but Zamazenta just didn't uh, didn't really ring any bells for me. He's still pretty cool, but yeah, I guess I just preferred Zacian. So we're going to see if we can hit... Oh, I'm just really, really bad at pulling these cards off the top lately. Here we go into our first Galarian Gallery. This is the Electivire. This is really, really cool. 
So this card is particularly good in a, a different format of the trading card game called Gym Leader Challenge. I won't get into too much detail on what that format entails, but I'll go ahead and link a website that will go over the description of the Gym Leader Challenge format. Uh, it's very, very cool, very beginner friendly, uh, but this is a really good card in that. We have the Leon Signature Rare. That's kind of cool. So we're gonna go ahead and sleeve up the Electivir as our first hit considering all of the Galarian galleries as a hit. What do you think? Do you guys consider Galarian gallery pulls as hits? I think they're pretty sweet uh, myself. I think the art in those is just super underrated sometimes. There's a playable card, we'll get that sorted out. I think they just get underrated the Galarian Galleries because they're not like V Pokemon. I cannot seem to get this right. That's okay. Going into the signature hop. Got the two brothers. That's pretty cool. So here, I kind of like to sort, pre-sort my stuff out. So the way I do it is I do a rare pile, both foil and non-foil. Then literally everything else, common and uncommon, energy, and then my playable cards. That's just the way I do it. Makes it easier because I think I had gone over, or I said I was going to go over this one time in one of my videos, but what I do with my bulk, um, I keep a lot of the playable stuff around just because you never know when something's going to be good again. Um, that actually is happening a lot right now where a card seemed like it was going to be really, really bad and it's coming back as pretty good. So I'll keep those around and then... What I'll do with the other bulk is I'll keep it separated in piles of commons and uncommons and then a pile of rare. Um, and then at every regional championship that I go to, there's usually vendors that will be willing to buy all of your bulk. And so that's what I do with it. They, The reason I separate it and do commons, uncommons, and then rares is that's how they like to buy them. They'll give a little bit more for the rares. We're gonna jump into this Galarian Gallery Oracorio. This one's pretty sweet. Tomokazu Kamiya art. I'm not a huge fan of these arts. I think they're very, very cool. Lots of, lots of expression in these ones, but uh, that's pretty sweet. Really good in the Mew VMAX deck. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve that one up. We've got two Galarian Galleries. But yeah, like I was saying, the vendors at the regional championships will buy them um, in piles of commons, uncommons, and then all the rares that you have. So that's what I do with them. If going to a regional championship is not something that you are able to do, um, mostly because like geolocation, sometimes they're not anywhere close, to where you might be then a lot of your local game shops actually might be interested in doing so in buying the bulk off of you if that isn't an option the the last thing that i'll resort to and sometimes i'll just do this um before i would even sell it real quick we're gonna jump into the galarian gallery pikachu love that i actually have a, a separate pikachu uh binder with Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. So that's cool. We're going to do a foil Hoopa. Um, so yeah, one other thing that I do, and sometimes, like I said, I'll do this instead of even trying to sell them, is I'll bundle up a lot of my bulk and just like ask around to see if anybody's kids or anybody wants just any, just a bunch of Pokemon cards because some kids go crazy about that and I love it. So I'll, I'll try to give away as many as I can just to people that want them because I think that's the, the preferred method for me. Uh, I like to just pass along all this stuff as much as I can. And then I would say the next form of getting rid of my bulk would be to sell it. So I, I prioritize giving it away if I can. We're going to go into the Galarian Gallery Grant. 
say that three times fast. This is cool. We've actually pulled this one already on the channel into a Zara or a V star. So we got a double hitter out of this pack. Very cool. So we'll go ahead and sleeve these ones up. But yeah, uh, I'll first seek out if I can try to give my bulk away to people that want or need it. And then basically whatever's left, which is usually still a lot, surprisingly. Um, I will take to regionals and sell off to the vendors. You can usually get a pretty good rate um, from the bulk that you take there. Especially if you start to take like bulk Vs and stuff. Those can really bring in a good amount of money. Wooloo, Shinx, Pancham, Snow Runt, Rock Roof. Ah, those ones are sticking together and it's a it's a radiant Charizard. Nice. Actually pulled one of these in another Crown Zenith pack that I saved as a short for the channel. So I've got a couple of these Radiant Charizards, which is kind of cool, because this card's actually super playable. Um, this is really surprising. The hits pile is starting to run off the screen. We've got so many hits. I will not complain about that. Code. See if we can still get that Raikou V. But I'm not going to be greedy. We've got a lot of good hits here so far. This is actually looking to be a really good box. So far, if I had to say, I mean, obviously, the Zacian box is in the lead because we haven't opened the Zamazenta one yet, but this is looking pretty good. Got the Galarian Gallery Mag Mortar. That's pretty sweet. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen this art. I like that a lot. Very cool. And then we'll go into a Greedent V. So another double hitter. Nothing crazy with the Greedent. Nothing crazy value-wise, if that's, if that's your thing. I don't usually do that, but still... These are hits, and we will take it. So we're kind of on a roll with this Zacian box. Honestly, we have two packs left still. And we've got... Nine hits so far. So that's kind of insane, actually. Grass energy. Oops. No, I did move that. Okay. Playable pile. Crushing Hammer. Luxio. Snow Runt. Ponyard, Tangela, Ball Toy, Galarian Meowth, Radiant Eternatus. I don't know about you guys, but I think I can see something behind that too. I think we're going to have another double hit here. Radiant Eternatus was actually um, hyped up before it came out to be like a super good card. And then it just, it just crashed and burned. <laughs> it wasn't nearly as good as people thought it was going to be. It's got the climactic gate ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Pokemon VMAX and put them right onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. If you use this ability, your turn ends. So you might see how that's kind of insane. Like you can just, you can skip the whole evolution line going into a VMAX and just go get it and put it on your bench. But it actually turns out that that didn't see a whole lot of play. It seems really good, but it just, uh, it didn't really work out. And lo and behold, out of the Zacian box, we got a Zacian V. Now this one is standard legal. It's the one with the uh, intrepid sword ability that is not legal and standard anymore. This one is. Very cool. I do loosely collect Zacian cards. He's in my legendary binder of the Pokemon that I collect. So this box is absolutely nuts. We still have one pack left. There's a code. I think we're going to get any hits out of this one. Let's take a look. We got Ultra Ball. We got an Electric. Lost Vacuum. Sunkern. 
Bidoof. This is actually a very playable Bidoof. Coffin. Salandit. Purloin. Helioptile. Into the Tangrowth. So nothing out of that one, and that's fine. So I'm going to flash these really quick. We got the Radiant Eternatus. The Zacian V. The Greedent V. The Galarian Gallery Meg Mortar. The Radiant Charizard. A Zara Aura V Star. The Galarian Gallery Grant. The Galarian Gallery Pikachu. Oracorio. Electivire. And then the promo from the box. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up really quick and get the other box open and we'll jump right into that one. I don't want to take away any of the fun. So here's the Zamazenta box. We're going to go ahead and snap the plastic and cardboard off. All right, so here we got the Zamazenta box. We'll jump right into this. Same sleeves. You know what I think of those. They're going to go over there. Then we've got the Zamazenta V. Again, this one is not in the standard format. You can tell by the letters. I won't get too deep into explaining this, but if it's the letter D and below, it is not currently legal in the standard format. E and above is what you're going to find legal in the standard format, if that's something you'd like to pay attention to. Get into these quick. We got the shiny Zamazenta pin. Very neat. To go in my little pin collection. And then the shiny Zamazenta figure. These, I think, are the highlight of the, of the boxes. These are pretty sweet. Very cool. So we'll start with these packs. And as you can see, I lined up the Zacian ones, the Zacian hits up at the top there. And we'll see if we can top it with this Zamazenta. Luxio, we got an Electric, a Rescue Carrier, a Ball Toy, a Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Larvista, Mewtwo, Reverse Hollow. That's actually really sweet. Um, I do collect Mewtwo. So this is actually, I don't, I don't have this one yet, so this will go right in my binder into a Luxray. So the only reason I'm going to sleeve this one up is because it's going to go in my binder. So I won't count that as a hit. That's just a Pokedubs pick. That's, that's what we'll go with. Some sort of cheesy name. So here we go into a V-Star marker. Great ball. We'll start off the playable pile for this set. Graveler. Love Disc. Emolga, Yanma, Ponyard, Cricketot. I think I see. S whoop, whoop, whoop. We got <laughs> another Grant. Another one. Into a Dur Duraludon V. So we do have both of these from previous Crown Zenith openings. But that is all right. You know, we might have to do some double giveaways here because I'm starting to end up with quite a few, especially from all of these Crown Zenith openings. Like I'd mentioned one other time, we're really uh, cooking into all this Crown Zenith stuff. Pokemon is very much hanging on to this set. Like I said before, I'm I'm okay with it. I think this set's pretty fun. A lot of good hits. They're they're putting out a lot of uh, they're reprinting a lot of really playable cards, which is always really good for us competitors. Young Goose, Cherubi, Reverse Hoopa, Gumshoes. So nothing out of that one. So we got three so far out of this box. Still not even comparing to the Zacian one yet that's all right. Matang, Shaman, Friends in Hisui, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Larvista, Ponyard. Goodness, these, these last cards just keep sticking together. 
We've got a Ponyard and a Whalmer. Reverse Enamorous. And a Zara Aura. All right, so we're starting to slow down on the hits here, which again, totally fine. But it is going to start to prove my point that, you know, Zacian's a little bit better than Zamazenta. If it doesn't turn up a little bit here, we are going to have a definitive winner. Trekking Shoes, that is a playable card. We got Shaman, again, Friends and Hisui, Love Disc, and that's another thing. You'll start to see a lot of redundant cards here. This set's not very big. Yanma, Ponyard, Bidoof. Got the Ditto, the Galarian Gallery Ditto. I love this one. This is really, really cool. I always love Ditto cards because they're just kind of cheesy. And I think this one does just that. That is awesome. And a Taurus. So we got a Galarian Gallery hit to add to that pile. Let's see if we can get anything else. We uh, really want that Raikou is going to go into one of my decks because Raikou is a Pokemon that I just never really pulled. Raikou V, that is. Rare Candy, Ball Toy, Galarian Meowth, Whalmer, Corefish, Shinx, your Reverse Trekking Shoes, to a Zacian V, and that's it. That's, it seemed like there was going to be another one there. I don't know what I was thinking. We got another Zacian V. So we got two of those. Let's see if we can get anything else here. We got we got a couple double hits going on there. We got the Grants. We got the Zacian V. And if that's going to be a trend that we are going to get into with these boxes. Metal Energy. Shaman. Friends and Hisui. Carvanine. Execute. Rockruff. Purloin. Love Disc. Shadot, Girafferig, Girafferig, however you want to pronounce that, and Zara Aura. So yeah, as you might have thought, these boxes were compliments of the channel's sponsor, Zeke's Comics and Games, in Washington, Illinois. Definitely go check them out if you're local to the area. If not, I have a link to the website in the description of this video, like I will in all other videos starting to add some more links to the video description so definitely go check them out like i said i got my link tree in there with all my socials and some some uh pokedubs merch that i'll i'll loosely start including in there see how that goes i don't know if there's a huge demand for any of that stuff but i'm having fun with it so i figured you guys can have fun with it too because this is a community that i want you to be a part of and I want you to feel included in. So we're gonna start trying to make that a little more, I don't know, make it so you can participate more, I guess. I, I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> Trekking shoes, we got a core fish, Oddish, Seal, Cricketot, Aeron, got a reverse fire energy with a big old print line on it. I don't know if you can see that. There's one right there. There's two right there. They just get those print lines on them from going through the going through the rollers of the machines. And a Rotom V. Nice. So we pulled the Rotom V a couple videos ago. Fun card. Um, so speaking of the merch stuff, I actually am testing the waters with a custom Pokedubs playmat. It should be coming in a couple of weeks. And we're going to see how that looks. I'm going to use it as like this playmat and we'll see how it looks. And if anybody thinks that it's cool enough, I actually might put in an order for several of them to list on that online shop that I've got just to uh, see if anybody wants any. Reverse Soul Rock. Blossom. That's that. So we're going into the last pack here. So far, the Zacian box is the obvious winner. And I hate to say that I called it, but that's how it's looking. We're giving out a lot of codes here. 
I have a huge pile of codes that I still need to enter into uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, so I might as well start giving some of them away. Graveler. Grubbin. Helioptile. Wooloo. Trying not to ruin the surprise here. Shinx. We've got a Pancham. The Galarian Gallery Hisuian Gudra. I don't really like Gudra that much as a Pokemon. I guess it's alright, but like, this art is fantastic. I really, really like this one. And guys, today we are going to end the Zacian and Zamazenta box opening on a foil Hoopa. That's alright. We'll take it. We are going to sleeve this one up and review the hits. We have an obvious winner. If you came here for the battle results, Sashin obviously came out on top. As in the Zamazenta box, we have the Galarian Gallery Hisui and Gudra, Rodom V, Zashin V, Galarian Gallery Ditto, Duraludon V, another Galarian Gallery Grant, and the Zamazenta. So, yeah. I can't guarantee that yours would look the same, but for the channel, it looks like the shiny Zacian V was the one that came out on top. I hate to say that I was right, but I knew that Zacian was going to come out on top. So that's it for today, guys. We are going to take a look at some other new products coming out here in the next week or two. Um, and then we'll be getting closer to Paldea Evolved. And that said, um, so we're sitting at like 200 subscribers. I'm just going to go ahead and reveal it, reveal it right now. For 250 subscribers, I've pre-ordered an extra Elite Trainer box, and we're going to be giving that away uh, at the 250 subscriber mark. So stay tuned for that. Get your friends to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes a quick second, and it'll help all of us out immensely. So that's it for today, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned, and we'll have more videos coming out for you. Take it easy.